of any of the former and plenty of the latter in this women's race because it is well set up for an exciting clash between Jamaica and the United States. Although there are athletes from other countries here, notably Maureen Thomas there on the inside, who will think that they're capable of getting in. It is going to be an exhilarating last hour to the third evening of competition in Big Gosh. There is Maureen Thomas of Kenya, 52-4-0 she's run this year. She does have to cope with the relatively tight bends of lane two. But she's done well to make this final. One final effort. Can she pick up a medal? Dorzis Korba there of Ukraine. 52.79 her best this season, so she is a bit slower than Thomas on her inside. Here is the first of the real medal contenders, Janelle Bromfield. She's the fastest Jamaican here, but she didn't win the Jamaican Championships. That title was won by this woman, Tiffany James, who ran a lifetime best in yesterday's semi-final. And what a run it was. Jessica Thornton, she too, a lifetime best in the semi-final when she ran 52-12. Lina Irby, well, she's such a powerful runner as the American. And she ran her fastest time of the year in yesterday's semi-finals. Natasha McDonald of Canada, yet to break 53 seconds. She's in lane eight. And on the outside, the World Youth Finals from last year in Cali. The youngest woman in this final, just 17, Roxana Gomez. Well, winning this title is certain to be as much about strength over three rounds as it is a one-off 51 or 52 second effort. If you'd watch yesterday's semi-finals, you'll know what I mean, because the leading contenders here, well, they really gave it everything. Tiffany James of Jamaica, Lina Irby of the United States, perhaps the favorites, but their rivals know that they come here having left very little in the locker during yesterday's semis. Romfield, Jamaica in four. James, Jamaica in five. Thornton, Australia in six. Irby, United States in lane seven. They the main protagonists in this women's 400 meters final. Championship record set four years ago by the American Ashley Spencer, 50.50 in the Barcelona Olympic Stadium. Can Lina Irby become another American to take the title? As she did in yesterday's semi-final, it's a very committed approach to the race and she leads at the moment. Tiffany James, as she did yesterday, has gone up very hard indeed. The Australian Thornton's got a huge amount of work to do. Also Bromfield, there are two Jamaicans in with a chance here. And Jamaica have never won this title. And look at James coming through, but Irby will hang on. Bromfield coming through for the bronze medal. It's America or it's Jamaica. It's Irby or it's James. Who will get it? It's James who takes it. Jamaica do have their 400 meter champion and these two gave everything yesterday in the semi-finals and they gave even more tonight in this final and Tiffany James in the end is the champion but what a final it was 51.32 the fastest time by a junior in the world this year by some margin. Brilliant, brilliant run, really gutsy. So love to see racing like that. The times almost become irrelevant when you see two athletes, not in adjacent lanes, but very in very close proximity like this, battling away over the last 50 or 60 meters. That is athletics at its peak. 
And look at the way James is clawing the air there, trying to get back to Lina Irby, who leads to within about 60 metres of the line. And then inch by inch, Tiffany James there in that yellow and green of Jamaica eases past the American, who maintains her form so well, grits her teeth, can't quite get it. The battle drags them, what, four metres clear? And it's mighty tight for third. Goodness me, I think maybe Thornton of Australia takes third spot on the dip. I'm not sure she's even aware of Bromfield of Jamaica in lane four. Uh, as you can see there, right of picture, Bromfield is battling away as well. But did Jessica Thornton, the Australian, take third spot? James giving it 100%. They're dipping at the line. Wonderful running from the two Jamaicans. And we're just waiting for that to result to be confirmed. Martin checking, and it's taking a while to come. The Australian fourth from left, Thornton looks, compared with the two out front, battling away. Well, as you might expect.